Hi there! Thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. This video is part of the series of videos I post to try to help people out when it comes to aptitude tests like the civil service exam, of got life, fill set, and all of those things. Today we're going to talk about a topic na nasimulan ko last week, which is yung conversion ng units ng temperature. We talked about converting from Celsius to Fahrenheit last week, so today we're going to talk about converting from Fahrenheit to Celsius naman. And uh, I can't wait to show you how to do it, so if you're not yet subscribed, don't forget to hit subscribe, hit the bell icon para wala kayong mamiss. There are more of these lessons coming up. So thank you guys and I'll see you. I'll switch over to my PC because I can explain better that way. I'll see you in a bit. Alright, so uh, let's talk about yung conversion ng Fahrenheit to Celsius, okay? Last time we talked about kung paano kung magta-transform tayo, magta-convert tayo from Celsius to Fahrenheit, ngayon baliktad naman. Now, if you haven't seen the video yet nung lesson natin last week, uh, please do. Um, kasi panoonin nyo muna yun, kasi yun yung gagamitin natin base ng formula natin dito. And uh, if you haven't seen that video yet, you wouldn't know yung parang memory aids ko na suggestion for you to better remember the formula. And uh, it'll be harder for you to start dito to do sa topic na ito. Okay? So if you haven't seen that yet, go ahead and click dito sa taas, dito sa ayon na button para napanoon nyo muna yan. Watch that first and then you can ano, come back to this video na lang. Alright? Now, ang um, basis nito is this, okay? Yung formula natin ng uh, Fahrenheit. Okay? So, conversion natin ng Celsius to Fahrenheit, ang formula niya. Uh, pareho lang naman ito, no? You can use the decimal form and ito yung in-discuss ko na may memory aid. You just remember the number 50. Now, bakit dito tayo magsisimula? Um, there is a separate formula, definitely, for for Fahrenheit to Celsius. Kaya lang, ako kasi, dahil hindi ako magaling mag-memorize ng formulas, what I would usually do, kahit nung nag-aaral pa ako, physics or math, kapag kailangan ng formula, I just remember yung pinakamahalaga and then, if I don't want to memorize it, I just convert it. I-convert ko na lang yung formula para makuha ko yung kabaliktaran niya. Now, uh, probably, na pakita rin ito sa inyo ng teacher ninyo when you were in high school or in elementary, pero baka nawaglit na natin. So, let me show you how to do that, okay? It's the same thing when we deal with the speed distance time or any other formula, volume or length, area, perimeter. It's, it's the same concept. Using yung rules ng equality, ililipat natin lahat ng mga ibang information to one side hanggang matira yung hinahanap natin. Now, in this case, iiwanan natin yung Celsius sa isang side. Okay? And in order for us to do that, what we're going to do is, ililipat natin isa-isa itong mga ito. Okay? Now, technically, when you're dealing with um, numbers like this, ano yan eh, uunahin mo yung side na may multiplication. And para lang walang confusion, ilalagay lang natin sa parenthesis. First thing that you're going to do is to transfer this sa kabilang side. So, ang mangyayari would be, yung degrees Fahrenheit, gagawin mo yung kabaliktaran nito, so yung plus magiging minus, so minus 32, okay, equals, and then you have yung existing mo, which is degrees Celsius times 1.8, and then, para ma-eliminate naman itong side na ito, kasi technically, this will be 1.8C or 1.8X, Kung gusto nyo gawing x yung c, ang gagawin natin dito para mawala naman yung 1.8 at maiwan yung c dito sa side nito, which is what we want, i-divide natin both sides by 1.8. That way, makakancel ito dito at dito iiwanan siya. So, ang formula ng Celsius, if you're using yung uh, decimals, is basically, ang degrees Celsius is equal to the Fahrenheit na in degrees minus 32 over 1.8 or... Kung gusto mo siya isulat ng diretsyo, ng diretsyo, degrees Celsius is equal to Fahrenheit, degrees Fahrenheit, minus 32. Ipaparenthesis natin siya just so you know na uunahin mo to kasi yun ang itsura nito, right? Before you divide 1.8, hindi naman kailangan, hindi naman pwedeng isa-isahin yan. Pagsasamayin mo muna to bago yun. And then this will be divided by 1.8. Okay? Pareho lang yan. Iniba ko lang ng itsura. Okay? Now, uh, actually ako, dahil wala naman akong uh, bias dyan kung alin ang gagamitin nyo sa alin, you can also use yung fraction na formula. Again, this is the same formula as before. Iiwanan natin yung degree Celsius to one side. So, ang mangyayari, yung F, again, ito inilipat natin sa kabilang side. So, magiging minus 32 siya. So, degrees Fahrenheit minus 32 is equal to degrees Celsius times... 9 over 5. And para mo wala naman yung 9 over 5 na ito, ang gagawin natin, imumultiply natin siya sa kanyang reciprocal. Okay? If you haven't seen yung video ko on 
um, dividing fractions, yan yon. So, yung kabaliktaran, reciprocal, ginagamit din natin yan. Ang ibig sabihin yan, kabaliktaran nito, 5 over 9. Now, bakit natin gagawin yun? Kasi kapag nag-multiply ka ng 9 over 5 times 5 over 9, maiiwanan dyan would be 45 over 45 or 1. So, makakancel siya dito sa side na ito. Pero syempre, kasi kung ano yung ginawa mo sa kabila, gagawin mo dito, kaya nga equality yung tinawag. Um, ginawa mo dito, gagawin mo doon. So, ang mangyayari, yung F or degrees Fahrenheit minus 32, kailangan mo pa siya ngayon i-multiply sa 5 over 9 yun ang magiging equal sa degrees Celsius. Okay? So, you can choose between the formula na ito, yung uh, degrees Fahrenheit minus uh, 32, itong the quantity nung Fahrenheit minus 32, and then divided by 1.8, or you can use uh, degrees Fahrenheit minus 32, yung quantity na yan, times 5 over 9. So, it's just the same. Okay? So, either way, magagawa mo yun. Now, bakit ko pinakita sa inyo itong process na to? Just in case, like me, ayaw ninyo mag-memorize ng maraming formula, what you could do would be, memorize just one, kahit ito lang, or kahit ito lang, and then, i-manual nyo na lang. Okay? I-move around nyo na lang dito. Okay? Depende na yan sa, sa choice ninyo. Okay? Alright, so yung kinuha nating formula or dinerive natin ang formula, yun actually yung uh, official term doon eh. Pag nag-derive ka ng formula, ibig sabihin kinuha mo siya from another formula na yung Fahrenheit to Celsius, kinuha natin siya doon sa original formula na Celsius to Fahrenheit, kaya yun yung unang kong tinuro sa inyo. We have this form, yung fraction form or yung decimal. Depende na sa inyo kung ano yung mas comfortable kayong gamitin. Okay, ako I'm just a little bit biased sa fraction. Ako lang yun kasi mas madali kong ma-manipulate or kung divisible kasi siya sa 9, mas madali ko siyang ma-cancel. Which I'll show you then later naman. Pero, uh, paano siya i-manipulate? So, ito, this time, we'll, we'll try it out with the fraction first and then, we're also going to try it with the decimal. Just to show you na pareho naman yung sagot. So, subukan natin ito. Yan. Gamitin natin yung fraction form niya. So, degree Celsius is equal to 40 minus 32 and then times... Uh, 5 over 9. So, yung quantity na yan, yan ang umauuna. Of course, unahin natin itong side na to na nasa loob ng parenthesis. So, 40 minus 32 is 8. Right? And then, times 5 over 9. So, kung fraction lalo na yung hinahanap na sagot, this will be the best option. Pwede nyo tingnan yung options kung uh, naka-fraction form ba yung sagot or naka-decimal. Kung decimal, mas ganda gamitin nyo ito. Kung fraction, ito ang gamitin ninyo. Okay? So, degree Celsius is equal to 8 times 5. So, that is 40 over 9. Okay? Or, kung gusto mo siyang gawing uh, mixed number, uh, gagawin mo lang is divide mo siya sa 9. So, 9, 18, 27, 36. So, that is 4. And then, 36, uh, 40 minus 36, that is 4. So, 40, uh, yung 40 over 9 is 4 and 4 over 9. Okay? So, and then, dahil wala ka ng lowest terms, that is your answer. 4 and 4 over 9 na degrees. Okay, however, dahil nga, again, we are dealing with uh, an incomplete number or hindi siya whole number, you can actually use the decimal form din. Kasi hira naman tayo makarinig ng 4 and 4 and over 9 na degrees. So, usually yan, baka sa options, decimal. Kung oh, ang options ay decimal, mas maganda gamitin ninyo yung decimal na formula. And I'll show you how to do it, okay? So, instead of using yung fraction na form, we're going to use this. So, 40 minus 32, yung quantity na yan, divided by... 1.8. So again, 40 minus 32, we're going to start with this side. So that is 8. And then, i-divide mo daw siya sa 1.8. So degree Celsius. Yan yun. Okay? Now, how do you do that? So 8 divided by 1.8. Okay? And when you're, you're dividing decimals, uh, yung mga numbers by decimals, ang rule is, i-move mo ito para maging whole number siya. And then, you'll add a zero kung ilang beses ka nag-move. Okay? So, nag-move ako isang beses, magdagdag ako ng zero dyan, magiging uh, 18. And then, ito magiging 80. Okay? So, uh, I will start dividing then. So, 18, uh, 80 divided by 18, that would be 4. Okay? So, 4 times 18, that is 40, that's plus 32, that is 72. And then, you have an 8 here na may iiwan. Okay? And then, that 8 he here... Gagawin natin, gagawin natin itong decimal. Pwede na tayo magbaba na isa pang zero. Okay? Parang magiging only zero na yan dahil meron ka ng decimal. So, 18. Again, babalik ka isa pang four. Okay? And then, you will have another um, 72 here. 
And then that will that would give you another 8. Okay, so repeating number siya, if you notice, 4.44, paulit-ulit lang siya. Okay? Alright, so ganun yun. Usually sa exams, they stop at two decimal places. So you, you would either see this, yung may bar sa ibabaw, or just 4.44 degrees Celsius. Okay? So again, ang uh, pinaka-cautionary na points here, o yung pag-iingatan uh, yung points would be, always iuunahin nyo yung minus, before you even do anything, if you're going to divide the decimal, always make sure na move mo muna siya before you handle anything. And just be careful with your carries at saka sa inyong proseso ng pag-divide. Kung medyo naguguluhan dito, I discussed long division if nakalimutan na natin kung paano to gawin manually. Kasi pagdating sa civil service exam, walang calculator, so you would need to do this in case na may decimals. Uh, you can watch that video rin dito. I-click nyo na lang dito sa uh, card dito sa taas sa I para mapanood nyo yun kung nakalimutan nyo na itong process na ito. Okay? Now, I'm going to post a quick quiz about this topic. So, be uh, um, on the lookout for that. That's the next video that I'm going to post. So, make sure that you're subscribed and hit the bell icon para hindi yun ma-miss. Alright? If it's already available, you can click right here. I'll post it there. Alright, I hope you learned something new today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure that you share this video to your friends. Lalo na kung mag-exam din sila para mas marami tayong matulungan. And if you want to get this shirt or the other shirts that I made, you can go to www.funder.customthread slash shops slash team like yun yung ating merch shop. You can also click the link down below sa description box natin to get one of these. The income from those shirts actually very malit lang naman yung income kasi they cover shipping and everything and the production. But that income is for a special project that we're going to do sa Christmas. So I'm really excited for that. Thank you sa lahat ng mga nag-order na and sa mga nag-selfie at nagpadala ng pictures na wearing the shirts. It really brings me so much joy. So thank you guys. And again, if you want more resources including mga questions on topics na related sa exam, you can go to www.facebook.com slash Team Laika for more information including din yung mga reviewers and the upcoming live review events. There are more projects down the pipeline. I'm excited about that. So I would love to meet you. Kahit hindi physical pero online, I love interacting with you guys. So just send a message over there. Alright? Thank you guys for watching. Aja-aja! Kaya yan, never stop learning. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.